Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Lawrence Chin. Dr. Chin has been Dean of the College of Medicine at SUNY Upstate Medical University since January 2020. Um, I think you're the first neurosurgeon I've met who's taken up a leadership <laughs> role. I don't know how you have time for all of it. Do you mind uh, telling us a bit more about how you got into medicine, chose neurosurgery specifically, and then wound up being uh, the Dean? You know, I got into medicine um, and never really intending to be anything more than a, a practicing neurosurgeon. Uh, I was fortunate um, to train at, uh, at USC LA County Hospital, and my chair, uh, Dr. Mar Marty Weiss, uh, it was really uh, my mentor and the most influential person for me uh, as a physician and, and subsequently as a physician leader, uh, because he was a person of just the highest integrity. And so I... Uh, I was at the University of Maryland, uh, where I built a brain tumor program. And it was at Maryland that I really kind of got more into leadership. And I think it's one of those questions, you know, how do you get into leadership? Are you a born leader or do you learn it? And I'm a firm believer that it is a skill like any other skill that you learn. But I think you have to make a conscious decision at some point that I, I want to get more into some of the administrative parts. What advice would you give to um, medical uh, people who are considering careers in healthcare now, um, as far as the opportunities and challenges ahead in this post-COVID or current COVID, and then hopefully a post-COVID world? Well, I would say that uh, if you're considering uh, a career in the health professions, it is absolutely. This is, I think, one of the best times to be in the healthcare field. I, I really feel like we're getting uh, the best and the brightest uh, in our field. Um, it's a time of tremendous scientific uh, breakthroughs. Uh, the research and the new treatments uh, is tremendous. The application of artificial intelligence and the use of data and data science in guiding safer care, more quali you know, higher quality care, um, that's leading to a, a revolution. Uh, so I really feel like physicians, nurses uh, in the healthcare field, we have to start thinking of ourselves as being leaders, not only in our own field, but really as in society in general. And we can set an example of caring and empathy and compassion. And so I really, I strongly encourage people that are interested, please think about a healthcare career. You can impact the lives of so many people in a positive way. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.